Welcome to the Painswick Feast 2022. The records of feasting here at Painswick have been about since the middle of the 19th century. However, it's very possible that the tradition had been going much before then, maybe even the Middle Ages. Hi, uh, we are Nikki and Liz from Glitter Bomb and today we are at the Painswick Feast doing glitter for mainly children but adults are more than welcome. Um, so Liz is going to do a glitter tattoo on me but we're doing um, festival face art, we can also do festival hair, um, we're a relatively new business but we're enjoying it, we're having fun so making the world sparkly. So. <laughs> and we just apply the glitter really roughly onto the tattoo. And then this is where the magic happens. We peel off the stencil and there you've got your glitter tattoo which will last for about three to five days. My name is Jane Burt. And I'm Jenny Priest. And I'm Naomi Dunn. And we're all members of the U3WI, U3WI here in Painswick. And every year we do a cake stall, which is oh, proving to be extremely popular at the moment. Oh, you Excuse you me, while I go and serve some customers. <laughs> She's a pure whippet. And how old? She is just two and a bit. I rescued her from a family in Leicestershire. Um, and she's lived with me for another year, so she's now And she's two. the most dear dog I could ever have. I've always had whippets. And she is such a friend. There she is. Absolutely As part of the Painswick feast, the residents eat puppy dog pie. This tradition started in the 19th century when the local innkeeper supposedly ran out of meat, therefore turning to serving up his own dog as the meat fill-in for the pie instead. My name is Marin Petre, I am from Romania. 55 here next week, Monday, in the 3rd of October, and I make the best doggy puppy pie. And there is the fillet tail, uh, vegetables, carrot, uh, parsnips, uh, red, yellow, green pepper, uh, um, onion, uh, prune, and uh, sweet corn and homemade gravy, but it's my secret. Another tradition that happens today during the Painswick Feast is the famous clipping ceremony. Now this isn't the clipping that happens to the yew trees every year. This is where local residents all hold hands and embrace the parish church. The event celebrates the birth of the Virgin Mary, 
and is held on the 19th of September or the first Sunday afterwards. The ceremony begins with a procession where two hymns are sung as they process around the churchyard. After the procession, prayers are said and a reading is made. The preacher is rewarded with a fee of a basket of flowers and two buns. Clipping means embracing in Old English. By joining hands and encircling St Mary's Parish Church, the participants express affection and gratitude for this house of prayer. During the clipping, a special hymn is sung and the church is embraced closely after each verse. After the clipping ceremony, the children are each given a 50p coin and a bun as a reward. Oh,